Good morning, PR Wolves, and welcome to today's edition of The Hot, your place for all things PR. I'm Dimitri Vadanov. And I'm Graham Perez. Let's get right into the news. Want to get your creative works published? Do you think you have what it takes? If so, please submit your uh, work to prwrites at gmail.com for a good chance to get your writing published. Are you ready for the female basketball season? If so, come to the room N105 for the program-wide basketball meeting where the future of PR basketball and your role in it will be discussed. Hey, smart cookies. Remember, if you're interested in joining the Great Scholastic Bowl, please visit the first practice on November 1st in room S306 at 3 p.m. Come flex the muscle of intelligence. Cool. Shifting our focus to the Crystal Lake area, come one, come all, and purchase tickets for the upcoming shows and events at the Arouse Center in downtown Crystal Lake. We have the 2019 annual Halloween Bash on October 26th at 7 p.m. The Sage Junior Winter Class of Christmas Carol on October 31st at 7 p.m. Christmas already? I know. Nothing up my sleeve at November 2nd at 7 p.m. Hey, I'm doing pianos 2019 to 2020, November 7th at 8 p.m. And national news, the 2019 World Series is here. The Washington Nationals are facing off against the Houston Astros in the Fall Classic in a Best of Seven Series. The Nationals won their first face off 5 4 on Wednesday. This is a milestone for the Nats because they have the chance to win their first World Series in franchise history. The Astros won their first in 2017. And I do believe the uh, Nats uh, absolutely killed the uh, Astros last night too. What was the score? Like 12 to 4? 12 to 3. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely killed. Crazy. Shifting our focus to a more serious and international topic, Trump has pulled troops out of Syria. This comes as a surprise to the American people as this political maneuver opens Turkey to go on the offensive against the Kurds. The Kurds helped us battle ISIS, which is where much of the president's criticism comes from. According to CNN, 160,000 Kurds have been displaced. The Kurds are not happy and threw potatoes and other food objects at the U.S. withdrawing troops. Yet Trump threatens to destroy the Turkish economy if they do anything out of line. It is great and unmatched wisdom. This has been your bi-weekly edition of How. I'm Dimitri Vyadano. And I'm Brad Priest saying, Au revoir, go, go Nass, and have a great, great rest of your week. week.